Some of the aircraft. Some say a little more, some say a little less. We'll average it out right at about 10,000. Now, a lot of the aircraft that were basic trainers during the war were cut up and melted down and recycled. And part of the reason this airplane is still in existence today in many different forms is because it wasn't as valuable recycled other basic trainers were. So after the war with these 10,000 aircraft no longer needed, it went to the ground. Very soon the airshore pilots found that because of the strength built into this airplane, which by the way is 10 times positive and 10 times negative the force of gravity, it was strong to withstand the air show abuse that it gets weekend after weekend. From that time after World War II, this is a modified version. John still carries the original engine, and he performs magic in the sky. The four-point hesitation roll is what you just saw. What you do is take a roll, and you stop it every 90 degrees. Right off the deck, that's a version of the hammerhead turnaround. In the United Kingdom, they call that the vertical reverse. It does the same thing. It allows you to do a quick turnaround and keep the stars in front of the crowd. The stars are the airplane and the pilot. This time, the eight-point hesitation roll, six, seven, and eight, doubling the difficulty factor and stopping the airplane every 45 degrees of rotation. Well, you won't see anybody else in the world today, and that is not an exaggeration, that flies the stock steerman in the exciting way that John does. And for his hard work and his dedication and his artistry, trophies that are given by the air show industry. Oh, a little barbecue going on there. Fear not, folks, we call that maneuver the gotcha. A little bit of special effects by John Moore, part of every performance, but guaranteed to get your heart racing a little bit. Show business is what John Moore is all about. I told you about those two awards given given to people in the air show industry. They carry the name of the late Bill Barber, the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship, given out in Oshkosh every year, and at a black tie affair in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award, of which John Moore, in front of you now, has received both for his imagination and his show business in this docile trainer. He is docile by most standards, not with John I dare say that pilots who flew this, who instructed it, and who flew it in World War II, and who flew it as a civilian model, they all will look up and they will say, you can't do that with that airplane. I flew that a lot. I know that airplane well. I performed the aerobatics in it. You can't do that. And they will say that as they watch John draw out the square loop. The loop with corners and the box in the sky. Here comes the concrete and the burnt grass that will be restored by Scott's Now the turnaround maneuver, it's got a funny name we call it the hammerhead turnaround. It was used by crop duster pilots and power line control pilots as a quick way to get back in over the area they were going to spray or uh, a power line control pilot shifting loads inside of the crop dusters. Well, that caused a lot of fatalities, so this maneuver, this hammerhead turn, is used exclusively by air show pilots as a quick way to get back and change direction. Working with a stock 220 horsepower engine, how do you get to the gathering of Mustangs and legends? Well, you do what John does, you practice, practice, practice. Taught himself how to fly a helicopter, taught himself how to fly a helicopter after he built the helicopter himself and executes the stop sign in the sky. Eight sides of a loop, as you're seeing the variable loops. First the round loop, then the square loop. Taught himself how to fly a helicopter by cabling it to a tree stump 
and then practicing little by little so the helicopter wouldn't get away from the ground. Learned how to hover, learned how to move left and right, still anchored to the ground. And then one day he said, I think I'm ready, and soloed himself in a helicopter. Folks, if you've ever taken helicopter lessons, that seems like an impossible task. But that's John for you. He is a third generation barnstormer. His grandfather was a barnstormer, operated a seaplane base up in northern Minnesota, and also barnstormed early in his career. His father carried on the family tradition. John is a barnstormer, the third generation. And we're proud to say that his son Ryan will be joining the Red Baron Squadron as an exhibition pilot. He has been accepted by the team. He will be trained this winter, and he will be a fourth generation more as a traveling barnstormer flying with the famed Red Heron Squadron. All right, now, altitude, that means a spectacular maneuver. There's a maneuver known as the Lungshavak, Czechoslovakian street slang, meaning the equivalent of drinking too much plum brandy. Here's what happens, you become tipsy and out of control, John's variation, named after his wife, Lynn, is called the Lindshavak. <laughs> All right, straight up into the air. Now watch as he grabs that altitude. Into the tail slide, off the tail slide. Power comes back into the spin. We used to call this the Tommy tail spin. At one time, this was thought to be an unrecoverable maneuver. If you got into the spin in the early days of aviation, you were going to perish. The solution for getting out of the spin was exactly what the pilots were not doing. As they got into a spin, they pulled back harder on the stick, wishing the aircraft into the air. It was the opposite thing to do. Merely by pushing the stick forward towards the spinning earth did they recover, allowing the wing to fly and gain control. Folks, it's almost October in fall. The oak leaves and the maple leaves fall off the tree and head for the ground. Altitude again. Folks, a big round of applause for John Moore, who is not finished yet, by the way, showing you his expertise in that aircraft. I don't want to say under power because John makes all the power work, but the challenge of moving this airplane around these maneuvers with this type of engine combination. And unlike the modified air show Stearman, only the original one set of ailerons. No screen. Again, that engine's gonna gonna bite you. Uh, okay, a little uh, retaliation for Rich Gibson. He wants John wants to put out his own smoke system. Yeah, I think he wants to go to work with Rich Gibson and the Rich's incredible pyro crew, the award-winning crew who blew the joint up this weekend.